Hi guys, this is Ellie from Hypno You with your weekly forecast for all the signs for May the 19th, 2019. If you'd like a private reading with me or if you'd like hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. There is also the option of clearing blockages to do with love, uh, finances or your own emotional uh, leaving of past lives and past traumas behind. Do look at www.hypnoule.com for those options. So so to do with our study, career and finance, we do have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords is saying that this week there is going to be some instability and thoughts are going to be all over the place. It's almost like people can't comprehend where this is coming from and it's putting people into a bit of a shock. Um, things are up, things are down. Some people want to push forward now in a financial way. This is okay. Well, we don't know, um, you know, quite why it's reacting the way that it is. Um, for others, this is I'm trying to get the budget done. I'm trying to reach the ending. We're running out of money. There's some sort of force that's being pushed forward. It could also be someone pushing their ideas in your career or your study. Um, this is an idea process where someone is just. Um, running forward, flat tack, and even possibly rolling over the people, uh, running over, rolling over the people that are in front of them. Um, and you have Ray here, which is asking you to, this is making people frazzled. This is making people second guess their options, their place, their position, uh, even their investments. And Ray is saying, look, take a time out, you know, calm down, have a look at the long-term goal when it comes to investments or career and things like that. Maybe there does need to be some focus. This card is about focus. This is with air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So focus on what their long-term goal is. Get those details. Um, there may be some difficulties now in the short term that need to be addressed so that you're able to get the long-term goal started. Now, for some of you, it's the time. I'm running out of time. I'm trying to get this. So many thoughts, so many things. I've got to get things done. Um, and so this is, I've, I've got the um, idea, I've got the focus, I've got what I want to uh, push forward with, and I'm perhaps trying to push, trying to force the issue in regards to finances. This is, again, instability. Everyone's running around screaming. This is a full attack. Um, now, there are five birds around that, so that's this is uh, five people involved, this is five different companies. There's something around here where it could almost be a deciding factor in how this is going to go. I will point out, though, that this last 30 days or so, um, there is an awful lot of um, angst, uh, anxiety, um, people feeling uh, prickly, you know, uncomfortable in their own skin or life and making rash, um, severing decisions in their lives. Um, there's a rage or resentment or anger coming in with people's communication, um, responding um immediate, uh, sorry, reacting immediately without responding. So, you know, responding with uh, thought. So it looks like that this could be coming into the financial sector. It's definitely coming in with the home. We do have the five of uh, swords, which is also Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. And this card here is with our children or our lover. Um, actually in all three areas, our home, our lover and our children, where Someone is sick and tired of the manipulation, the, the um, puppet strings being pulled. This here, we have um, two people that have had enough and they're on their way. And this one here, the narcissism, the manipulator, well, he's very, very happy with the results. He's got two already settled. He's um, very relaxed about this one. He's got it there. And um, these two, are, they've laid down their swords. There's no more fighting. They've turned away. Maybe it's to regroup. Maybe it's to have a timeout. Maybe it's... Um, severing things completely but there is this idea of manipulation i will point out though to um, any deals or any people coming to ask you to so door knocking asking you to sign up for something or anything that sounds too good to be true or any kind of uh, proposal um you know, that has a contract or a sign up and I've got to agree. The reason that I say that I feel like it's acting and then reading the fine print later or getting caught in the fact that later on you find that things weren't exactly what they seem. So if they come up this week, do check everything first. Now you do have Isabella, the yes card. And this angel card is saying to you, this is the time, the right time, 
for this venture around the home, the, the decisions, the changes that are made here. Perhaps this is about children. You know, this person is saying, listen, it, it, it's not going to be um, the way that it's always been. There needs to be some responsibility. We need to take responsibility for our own actions, our own force, uh, forceful movements forward and our own thoughts. Um, so there has to be a... a um, there has to be a compromise there. And Isabel is saying, you know, if you're nervous about that, um, this is the right time to do that. Now, for some of you, it's people moving out of the home. This can represent people moving out of the home. And lastly, uh, for some of you, this is, um, I have the idea that someone is playing me in a love sense. And uh, it's just made me turn away from, or I feel left out from, I feel like, um, you know, the contact's, uh, you know, severed. Or there's been, you know, I'm walking away. This person's playing two of us. Um, now, you also have Isabella here. So if this is, you know, is this 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 what's actually happening, then it's a yes. If this is a um, getting back together because I've been offered this um, continuation in this relationship where there is going to be a change, um, you know, we've had this discussion out, then you've got the yes for that too. In our health, we do have the Ten of Wands. Now, this is inflammation. This is um, <clears throat> inflammation and perhaps even... Um, pressure uh, on the shoulders down so from the neck down to uh, mid back and this is crippling this is um, hard to carry on such a big week because it feels like there's more than one area in everyone's life right now which is creating a bit of a disturbance and the disturbance um, in, in life is that you know it comes across as a negative way but disturbance is just change in a positive way or a negative way when there is a destruction a uh, sorry disturbance it means that things are changing as everything does evolve and everything does change so this week there is actually for the last 60 days there's been um more than one uh, era of your life which has got some complications it's got some disruption it's got things that are uncertain about it and so you know if this is your mindset on my you know family my home how is this going to do then this this is creating anxiety and the anxiety comes from the fear of unknown so when there's things that are unknown it creates fear in us and when it creates fear in us it creates anxiety stress you've got this cortisone overload which causes all sorts of um complications in your health the other way this is is that there is uh, this emotional stresses on our shoulders causing that pain um, it is in the house of 10 which is uh, knees bone skin and teeth so you might find you've got some grinding issues where you've grinded a tooth down so you need dental care or dental assistance perhaps it's a pain an absence a broken tooth something like that and this is from grinding your teeth or pressure there or even you know there's an infection in any of those areas and there's been some pressure if this is about your uh, knees and bones and skin then there's an inflammation there so it could be shingles it could be rosacea it could be uh, water on the knee a twisted knee you know any kind of pressure in that area Uriel here the angel is saying anything that's emotional you really need to put that baggage down you're carrying the load of everything it's almost like you need to carry everybody's burden on your shoulders for you to be able to feel like you're doing something and maybe that is the change that needs to occur maybe you need to put these down and walk away that manipulation is causing you physical pain in our love we do have the knight of cups and we have crystal which is about um you know there is going to be um a positive outlook at the end of this you can't see it because you are just climbing the mountain it's on the other side so this card says be positive um you know let things unfold the spirit is here helping you guiding you towards things so if there has been a negative that's been happening there isn't an emotional uh, pause as we go through towards respect so this is moving forward there is going to be contact this is an emotional stability and someone is coming back and emotionally steady and stable with their things so maybe this card is saying uh, well in all sense it is saying that spirit is with you guiding you in your love life and what changes are going to be will lead to happiness and prosperity you do not see it right now because it's directly hitting you in the face and instability does make you uh, frightened but that at the end of the day it is going to uh, there is going to be a result for this so be kind to you and those you love and from Jedi side Jake may the force be with you